So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the ways that you can spot a mouse and keyboard player on console. Some of these are really basic and obvious ways, so bear with me through the first couple of things that I mention. I'm just going to briefly talk about some of those. And also, I want to mention this before we get started with the video. At the end of the day, using a mouse and keyboard on console is a significant advantage and I consider it the worst form of cheating on console. I know some people might disagree with that, but if you are playing on console, you are supposed to play with a controller. That's what it comes down to. This topic has been one of the things that I've mentioned repeatedly on my channel and in my videos, and I wanted to make this video and show you guys what I use to determine if a player is using a controller or a mouse so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Number one, in-game chat, there are certain sounds that will give it away. The undeniable sound of a mouse click or especially the keyboard clacking during mid-game, sometimes you can hear that. Most of these motherfuckers, I'm going to tell you right now, have such a cheap keyboard and it's so loud that the sound just carries and it picks up most of the time on the mic, especially if they are using a cheap headset those keyboard sounds are just undeniable because it's so clear. Sometimes you can even hear another person's analog sticks off of their controller that sound like this. And it obviously sounds 100% different from any keyboard sounds. So you can use that to determine what they are using as well. But let's say there is no game chat, like on Battlefront for example. If you go to their profile, and you notice XIM, sometimes these guys will put that in their bio. XIM, if you didn't know this, is basically an adapter to make mouse and keyboard compatible with Xbox. It was used a lot on last generation consoles. I don't know why some people post that in their profile, but sometimes they do. I noticed it every once in a while on Xbox 360 profiles. The third thing that you can do is take a look at their gameplay. And if you notice that somebody is repeatedly turning on a dime with an insane split-second reaction, that's usually a sign that somebody is not using a controller depending on what exact game that you are playing. It's very easy to turn on a dime with a mouse. And that leads me to number four. If you notice pinpoint accurate shots where they are not missing at all and they land every single shot, it's usually a mouse and keyboard. Some people might argue, oh no, this guy's just really good. But over time, when you know what it looks like, there's a big difference between a controller player and a mouse and keyboard player when it comes to accuracy. There's a video with Nate Shot that I want to show you guys. It's pretty obvious to me. It serves as a perfect example to this. So I'm going to put that link in the description of this video. If you want to check that video out, you can. I usually never link another person's video, but I'm going to make an exception this time because, like I said, it serves as a perfect example to what I'm talking about. So check that out later if you want. And finally, number five, the biggest giveaway in my opinion, is the small movements. I'm going to show a clip of an Xbox keyboard player right here. He's using and testing out his mouse. Just look at the movements. If he was using his controller, he would be rotating his analog stick all the way around. This movement would be incredibly hard to do with any controller. You would have to put your sensitivity on the lowest possible setting to do what he's doing right now. Even then, it's hard to maintain a perfect circle with a controller. This person in the past has told everyone he used a controller. Later on, he admitted to using a mouse and keyboard. And of course, it was no surprise to me because I watched some of his clips on Xbox and also saw his significant decrease in stats on a few different games. So he would always use a controller whenever he played Modern Warfare with any of his friends, thinking he was so smart hiding that. But like I said, because I watched his clips and I saw the significant drop-off between his movement and also his stats on other games compared to Modern Warfare, I knew he was swapping between both a controller and a mouse and keyboard to hide it on Modern Warfare. Now, hear me out. 
I know Battlefield and Call of Duty are completely different, but even on other Call of Duty games, he would have a 4.0 KD, 9.0, 8.0 on a couple of different Call of Duty games. But you will not have that much of a drop-off between Call of Duty games. I, I mean, we're talking about going from an 8.0 to a 1.0 or 1.1 KD. That obviously shows a significant drop-off, which is caused from switching from a mouse and a controller. And that's on top of the difference in small movements that I'm showing you right now in this clip. But yeah, those are the main things I wanted to point out to you guys. The only other thing I wanted to show is when people hide their controller button options in the settings. Like on Star Wars Battlefront, for example, you could turn those off. A lot of keyboard players did that on Battlefront. Anyways, if you don't mind, drop a like on the video. That will counter the dislikes from the sweaty keyboard cheaters on consoles that are watching this video. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.